now to an ongoing battle to save an Australian animal that's been teetering on the brink of extinction for decades. The northern hairy-nosed wombat once lived in a range almost the length of Australia, but today it's holding on in just two Queensland locations. Experts say a third home must be found if its future is to be assured. Dave Harper heads a team that's caring for an animal they rarely get to see in the wild. It's a great job. It's an opportunity to work with a, a really beautiful species and, um, you know, to do something good for the environment. The critically endangered northern hairy-nosed wombat is shy, elusive and mostly nocturnal. And that means it remains something of a mystery, even to the wildlife officers and volunteers working to bring it back from the brink of extinction. It lives underground, um, only pops out at night and leaves all these little tantalising clues about what it does. Um, leaves these gorgeous little footprints walking along and um, we really don't ever see it except on the cameras. The wombats were thought to be extinct until a tiny population was found in what is now Epping Forest National Park in central Queensland. By the 1980s, there were just 35 left. And with just one group, the wombats were at risk of fire, flood, disease or predators. Some sort of um, disaster could have wiped that population out. It's now 10 years since a second, more southern refuge was founded near St George after local landholders offered up 130 hectares. A small group of wombats moved in and this year a new arrival was cause for celebration. We now have a joey, which is a great sign for this site. It just says that, you know, you provide the right habitat and these guys will do the thing they need to do. And a lot of it, you hope. <laughs> yes, a lot of it. The wombats have well and truly settled in. It's a huge achievement, but the researchers now want to find a spot for a third and larger refuge for the growing population. But it's not easy to find an ark. The wombats need a large area with a special type of soil and the right kind of habitat. And the researchers say it also needs to be south of the original population as insurance against climate change. It's extremely important. Like it's, it's really the next step for this species and it's something that needs to happen if we want to feel comfortable about securing their future. Across the two sites, there are now about 250 northern hairy noses. And with more babies likely next year, it won't be long before these growing families need a bigger home. Cathy McLeish, ABC News.